Good morning. Welcome to Oakland Cambridge Presbyterian Church. May the peace of Christ be with you. Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves in heart, mind, and body, that we might be more open to the sacred presence within and around. A reading from Psalm 126 from Nancy Merrill's book, Psalms for Praying. When the divine lover enters the human heart, all our dreams, all our yearnings are fulfilled. Then will our mouths ring forth with laughter and our tongues with shouts of joy. Then will we sing our songs of praise to you, O beloved of all hearts, for gladness will radiate out for all to see. So great is your presence among us. Restore us to wholeness, O healer, like newborn babes who've never strayed from you. May all who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. And may all who go forth weeping tears of repentance, bearing seeds of love, come home to you with shouts of joy leaving sorrow behind. When, the psalmist says, divine love enters our human hearts, all our dreams are fulfilled. John Lennon, you might remember, said, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and all the world will live as one. It's a wonderful dream. The great American poet Langston Hughes said, hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to those dreams. First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And Aristotle said, hope is a waking dream. We are like people who dream. During this pandemic time, scientists have been recording the fact that people are having more intense dreams. Have you been having New, different, more intense dreams? And what are those dreams that you have? They write in the scientific journal, this global pandemic and associated restrictions may have impacts on how and when we sleep. This has a positive effect for some and a negative effect for others. Both situations can lead, they say, to heightened recollection of dreams. So some researchers are having people make written journals of their dreams. Maybe you do that. People are recording the fact that they're dreaming about bugs, viruses, natural disasters, or having difficulty breathing. Have you noticed yourself having those more intense, strange dreams during this pandemic? During sheltering in place? Dreaming is natural, of course. We all dream. We all daydream. We all have pipe dreams. Maybe during a Zoom meeting, you find yourself gazing off, daydreaming, hoping and praying maybe for a day that will come in a not so distant time when this pandemic will end, when lives will not be threatened with the complications from the vi virus, that people will not suffer or die, the economy will recover, people will go back to work, and we can all get back to some form of safe in-person community gatherings. What are your dreams? 
The psalmist sings about we are like people who dream. The prophet Isaiah lifts up a dream as well of that time that is echoed in Revelation 21 when there will be no more suffering and pain and death and sorrow and God will make all things new. What are your dreams? In her poem, Dreams, poet Mary Oliver writes, All night, the dark buds of dreams open richly. In the center of every petal is a letter. And you imagine if you could only remember and string them together, they would spell the answer. It is a long night and not an easy one. You have so many branches and there are diversions, birds that come and go, the black fox that lies down to sleep beneath you, the moon staring with her bone white eye. Finally, you have spent all the energy you can and you drag from the ground the muddy skirt of your roots and leap awake with two or three syllables like water in your mouth and a sense of loss, a memory. Not yet of a word, certainly not yet the answer. Only how it feels when deep in the tree all the locks click, click open and the fire surges through the wood and the blossoms blossom. What dreams may come, the dream that we all have, that we all want to live into, is God's dream of shalom for all people, not just for you and me, but for all the world. We pray and ask that dream to come to fruition in our waking, in our sleeping, in our living in community with one another, in the church, in the world, and with God. Let us pray. Gentle me, Holy One, into an unclenched moment, a deep breath, a letting go of heavy experiences, of shriveling anxieties, of dead certainties that soften by the silence, surrounded by the light, and open to the mystery, we may be found by wholeness, upheld by the unfathomable, entranced by the simple, and filled with the joy that is you. Amen. My friends, this day and every day, remember that love has the power to heal all that is broken within and around us, mending us in heart, mind, and spirit, reconciling us as one within the heart of love. And may the blessing of that heart of love heal us and strengthen us in patience, understanding, empathy, compassion, and caring for the whole of humanity, and in doing so, for all of God. So go in peace now, to love and serve the world.